This particular species of snail is um, known to be extinct in the wild. So it's here in our lab, and it's here in a few other zoos in the U.S. This lab is very exciting to have here at Woodland Park Zoo. Um, it's climate controlled, so we can give them the exact temperature that they need. And um, it also really helps us tell the story. We weren't able to show the spatula snails very well in Bug World. And so now they have their own space with a big window and people can come up and actually see our <laughs> keepers working and see the snails. The snails in particular, they are a hard one. I think most gardeners know them as you know pests in their garden, but the snails don't really know that they're a pest. They're just doing what they do. The snails eat this lovely mixture of nettle powder, calcium, oats, um, a protein source, what we call snail vitamins, which is a stress powder. It has a bunch of just special minerals in it that the snails need. And we grind all that into a powder and then add some water and it makes this lovely green gruel that we smear onto plates and the snails um, crawl along as the snails do. And they crawl up onto the plate and you can watch them eating the green goo. If you've ever seen a snail in your garden, you probably have seen how a snail moves from point A to point B. Not terribly quick. On occasion, they do tend to you know, make a run for it. Partula nidosa, the snail that we have here in the lab, the adults can be about a half inch, um, so they're not very big. The snail babies are even smaller. Um, they're about the size of a, you know, tip of a ballpoint pen. And often when the keepers come in to clean them, um, they get the added treat of seeing a baby just happen to be riding on the back of an adult snail. Because the snails are part of a species survival plan, um, in addition to cleaning and feeding them, we also have to count them fairly regularly. So we count every newborn, juvenile, subadult, and adult, and we compile all those numbers and send them to the stud book keeper who c gathers all the information from every other zoo taking care of the species so we have an idea of the overall population size. As part of that program, they are planning on being released out into the wild. Tahiti, where they are, is a very mountainous climate, and so these snails are found in the forest um, up on the mountainsides. What they're planning on doing for this snail is creating a reserve, um, which is the world's smallest nature reserve, and there's four, um, fences around, and around perfect habitat for the snails, and so the snails will be released into this reserve. If you want to find out ways to help invertebrates, Woodland Park Zoo has a bunch of resources. Our website has um, great information on what you can do to help butterflies and other invertebrates. We also offer backyard habitat classes here at the zoo. And there's always Bug Club to learn more about invertebrates and bugs and insects and spiders and snails and what they can do to help the animals in their own backyard.